Well, you can mark it down. Next Saturday is the much-awaited grand opening ceremony of the Whittier Street Health Center's Wellness and Fitness Club that will occur during their annual Men's Health Summit. The excitement's been building as this new 6,600 square foot fitness facility will allow for members to receive treatment and educational fitness from a group of experts, including a physical fitness coach, an art therapist, nutritionist, and even an acupuncturist. Each year, the Men's Health Summit is an opportunity to illustrate the importance of educating men and their families to take control of their health and to address the disparities in men's health. Joining us this morning to provide even more details are Dr. Jane Brody. She's a psychologist and the vice president of programs and services who also manages the Men's Health and Wellness Institute and Dr. Motusi Motus Chilume. He is a family practice uh, physician who leads the HIV program at Whittier Street Health Center. Welcome to Urban Update. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. Got a big day coming up pretty soon here. Uh, Dr. Brody, um, I hear there's a great deal of excitement for next Saturday. Can you sort of fill us in on all the festivities and what's going to be happening at the Health Summit? That's right. we got a lot going on on Saturday. It's um, at 10 o'clock we're going to be doing all kinds of health screenings. And there are a lot of vendors coming. There'll be tables. Uh, there'll be raffles. There'll be a lot of giveaways. So there's a lot going on from 10 to 11. And then the uh, Health Summit itself begins at 11. And we have, um, we have six men's health champions mm -hmm. who will be honored. There are people who really do extraordinary work with men in our community. Um, we have a keynote speaker, Dr. Gene Lindsay. Mm -hmm. He um, is Emeritus CEO from um, Atrius Health. And he'll be talking to men about, about their health. Mm -hmm. And then we have um, a very exciting ribbon cutting for our brand new uh, wellness and fitness center okay. and the mayor is going to be there and help right. us cut the cut the ribbon okay. and then we have something that we've never done before which is um, a presentation and a uh, before and after um, on men with um, a agency called Higher Pursuit okay. and they'll be showing men um, how they looked before they did them over and then they'll be showing them in, in their new suits with their new hairdos. Wow, a lot going on. Uh -huh. It sounds like it's a lot of fun. Dr. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Chalume, uh, it's always a challenge for men to talk about uh, preventive mm -hmm. medical attention. How important is the Men's Health Summit for men in the community? The, really the, um, the essence of this, why you really focus on this? Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a very important uh, thing. Uh, it's, it, it is, we found, very difficult to get men to come in. Uh, and talk about health issues because as men we tend to think that we're big and strong and that we don't need to worry about our health until you know when laid down in bed pretty much and so it's really important for us to talk to men about coming in while they're healthy to do preventive care to avoid a lot of things and not wait until they're very sick uh, and oftentimes we find that it's actually the women who bring them in, you know, their mother, their wife, their girlfriend, who insist on them coming in. So. And they stay healthy to take, help take care of their families. Exactly, That's exactly. Right. It's very important. Uh, Dr. Brody, one of the reasons, uh, one of the reasons for all the buzz is the <coughs> brand new 6,600-square-foot uh, fitness club that's opening up. To, uh, how, tell me a little bit about that. Oh, it's great. It's all done. We're ready, to, we're ready for our grand opening next Saturday. Um, we have machines. We have all kinds of machines. We have a weight room, and then we have a double uh, set of rooms for exercise classes. We'll be open at 6 o'clock in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll be running the classes, a lot of the classes, both before and after work. We, mm -hmm. um, we have what we call a prescription for health. The doctors, such as Dr. Chalumi, will be writing a prescription for patients to come down and exercise and okay. what they need to do. And then anyone from outside is also welcome to join the club. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Dr. Chalume, um, uh, unfortunately, HIV discussion um, is still taboo, I think, for a lot of uh, people in the community to talk about. How does this uh, annual event uh, help people open up and start talking about that? 
is that that's one of your goals too as well yes yeah it's it's one of our, our really big goals to get people really talking about uh, HIV unfortunately with HIV there's still a lot of stigma mm -hmm. so we really try to face uh, the stigma and and really try to address it so that uh, people are not scared to to talk about it and we really want people to get to the point where they think about HIV as any other chronic disease which uh, you know we've got very good mm -hmm. treatments for it uh, and people shouldn't be really shying away from talking about it and getting screened so we will have screenings uh, on, on Saturday mm -hmm. as well for, for people to get screenings and we'll have staff available to talk to to patients uh, and counsel them. D Dr. Brody I guess as a psychologist you uh see how uh, things affect people, I guess. Can you go over some of the, um, the more um, common areas of concern, uh, health concerns that people have in the community? Well, there are a number of things. In terms of mental health concerns, people say, um, I'm just so stressed, um, I'm depressed, and I'm anxious. And those are the things that our uh, wellness activities and our fitness center really help. And we know that because we've measured pre and post tests of those three things. Yeah, we've heard about it. People who exercise more, that really does that really does help their mental health. It really it? does. And we okay. can we can document that. Or we have documented that. Okay. And then okay. in terms of the physical health, um, there are also okay. so many benefits of, of okay really moving around and um, doing the exercises. Uh, Dr. Tulume, I guess, is a family practitioner. Um, I guess, what about the disparities uh, that we have in this country? What can the average person do to try to try to close those disparities? Uh, it's, it's very unfortunate that we still have uh, disparities, especially for uh, people living in inner city uh, communities and people of color, of course. Um, and you know, living in a city like Boston where there's so many resources, mm -hmm. it's unfortunate that some people are still not being able to access them. So we really want people to be comfortable uh, to ask questions, to seek help, uh, and we have a lot of outreach activities where we, we try and get people and channel them through uh, the clinic so that they can uh, get to all the services that, that they can get. And Dr. Brody, I guess you can wrap up here just by giving viewers just the, just the basic details again for uh, the Saturday's event, uh, free health screenings, uh, when, where? Right, right. So our, we're at 1290 Tremont Street, and um, we open up at 10 with all these screenings, including HIV screening. 11 to 1, we'll be okay. doing all our talks, okay. work with the fitness center, and we will also okay. be do, running a couple of exercise classes there. Okay, it sounds like it's going to be a great Saturday. I hope uh, yes. a lot of people should definitely come on down. Dr. Jane Brody and Dr. Motusi Chalume, thanks for coming in. Uh, thank you. Good luck with the summit. Thank well, that's thank it for this edition of Urban Update. From all of us here at Urban Update, I'm Byron Barnett. Have a great Sunday, everyone. Mm -hmm.